here in this little 1850 Fisher. She said, uh, it's going to get rough out here today. See how level this boat rides? And I see all the deer running around on the land, the seagulls. We got a storm of brewing. So this little baby's. There goes the seagull. There we go. Anyways, in 1850, uh, with a 115 V Max, they turned 6300. Uh, they need to fix the wash down hose, not a big deal. On the very back of that, there's a inlet plug that needs to snap in that real quick. Uh, the pickup line, I just can't get to it, it's behind that panel. Other than that, boat's real stable. So what we're going to do here, we're going to fire up the kicker. So just trim it down. Here it go clunk, which I did. Now if this thing's cold, you got to go like this. Give it like three, four pumps, bring it back. Lift the lever where it stops and then give it a half an inch more. Push and turn. Push in while you turn. When it starts, if it acts like it's gonna die, push in again. Acts like it's gonna die, push in again. And then when it picks up higher RPMs, bring this lever down, bring it down, so you can bring it all the way down. Now once it's fired up, which it was, I can just hit the key, go. And that's the safety lantern if that ain't in. It is not, it's just gonna crank but not turn over. And if this is not all the way in neutral, will not start, that's the same thing as on the main. A uh, little kicker motor does really good. Uh, word of the wise, don't open that window. Uh, you know, not, you're just gonna get soaked, put it that way. If you leave that open, where I, I think it's gonna get rough pretty quick up by the first can. There's 20 right there, 21. So that's 21. So this is really 22. So right up by 21 here, it's gonna get nasty, really nasty. It'll be there. It was over by the grid pretty uh, pretty close and high. These are close for about a second and a half, not very big yet. Maybe like foot and a half, a little wind wave. <laughs> but right now we're running on the kicker motor. It's doing a good job. Now a little banging noise you hear is that when you take your winch strap and you hook it up to the boat, right where the eyelet is on the boat is that, oh, what do you call those, a shackle. Uh, now you can actually maybe, what happens, the hook on the winch strap ain't big enough to go around the eyelet of the boat, so they put a shackle in there. So you can actually maybe figure like a carabiner where you can snap in there instead of that or just take that shackle off. And you can tell they're foam filled with black plugs right there and there. Now see, if you don't have a winch, you could like rain, you could get some water, see where that's open up there. That's where the wind was. Yeah, it's all coming in. But say I did forget that window and I hit a big hole. Yeah, I'm gonna get wet, there ain't no doubt about it. It's gonna come in and happen to me. So you're getting nasty, keep the windows shut. Okay, so then bring that back, that works for, oh, that's another thing too. So right here in this current wind with the kicker, that's this arrow design. Look how fast this thing turns. See how stable in these swells? This ain't, this ain't nothing really now. The wind is picking up. But look at that, how fast that turns. Same thing like in reverse. And then you gotta remember, this is just a little 99 doing this. Look how fast this thing, I don't even have any throttle. See how fast we're backing up? That's on the kicker mode. And that's because of the hole. So then you bring that up there, then you trim this baby up. And these are, should be self-directional. Yeah, see how it's pulling me, the wind and current. Now how it's pulling the boat this way. Now watch this. And then if I straighten that wheel up, gonna keep blowing me okay so anyway turn on the key put her in gear give it a little gas save token look how fast this thing turns that's what's gonna get you out of trouble and then you got BTS mode which is, you just bring this into gear like this uh, you hit this set, you have to make sure it's on hours. You hit the set button until the T pops up, then hit the mode where it says troll. And this goes, every one of these is 50. 900,000, 1,000, 50. So it goes up to 1,000. Most of these only went to like 800, 900. But this does 600 to 1,000. That's for trolling. So now if I want to go down, I just bring it down. Boom, there, there's 600 RPMs. 
Now to get it out of that, you can either hold this till that T pops up or just hit it, just give it gas and it'll go away. The troll motor. See how it's working fine now? So that's gallons. tether myself to this boat since this has a life ring built into it and I could use that as my life jacket. Ha! No, I don't suggest that either by the way. Okay, anyway, this is a boat doctor. I'm going to bring her on back. It's going to start getting up here. I probably can't use the camera when, it gets, when I get up here anyway. So anyway, beautiful 1850-2022 Stady Crab. You guys going to love it. I mean, they're just, if you want a good boat that can almost do everything and be safe, Go Stavy, or go home. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, Edge is a good boat too. There's a lot of good boats out there, but you just can't beat. There ain't an 18 out there that can do what this boat will do. All right, folks.